Hello everyone, welcome back to Lambourne End. Um, today we are going to be showing you some knots. All you need is some rope. Whoa, 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 Luke, Luke, that's not fair for the people at home. Been thinking about this. Maybe stuff you've got at home. A dressing gown sash, taking out your best dressing gown like mine here. Or I was thinking you could use the wire from a hoover. Maybe ask your parents' permission first. Or failing that, you've definitely got a shoelace. Untie your shoes and you can try them at home with us. Good idea. Okay, so there's lots of knots you might use here when you've been up at Lambourne or when you come in future. We use them for our raft building, for our bushcraft, and most importantly for our climbing wall. Luke is now going to show you the reef knot. So this is a reef knot. The way you do it is get either end of your piece of rope, you're going to go left over right and take the left one under, like you would a granny knot to do your um, shoelaces. And then you're going to take the right one over the left one and take the right one under. And then as you pull them together, you'll see you create two loops which should move inside each other. The reef knot derives from about 1794 when it was used by sailors to obviously reef their sails so they could adjust it and allow the windsurf to the sail. There is also a similar knot which you can look up which is called the thief knot. And what that was in the days of pirates it's instead of going left over right and under and right over left, you do it the same way. And what it does is it makes a similar knot, but it's just recognisable. So what would happen is someone might root down their bag, that pirate's bag, think it was a reef knot, retie it. When they come back, they'd know that someone's been in there. Remember, if you want to practice this knot at home, pause the video now and try the knot. If you need to watch it again, rewind at any point. Now we're going to do the figure of eight, OK? So the way we do this is we make an alien's head, we then strangle him round the back and poke him in the eye. And then you pull that tight. And as you can see there, we've got the figure of eight. So, now you've got your single figure of eight, you're halfway to having a re-threaded figure of eight. To do this, you can use a broom or anything that we're going to tie the knot to. So this is what we use as an anchor to our harnesses in climbing. So to do this, you need a bit of tail on your single figure of eight. And then all you're going to do is re-thread the end of your rope back through the shape of the eight. So you're going to take it through the first bit where the rope exits around your object and you're going to follow it round, round the loop. Keep watching the eight, you're following that shape. And once you've got your final end through, you should be able to trace the two ropes round your eight shape. The third part of this is a figure of eight on the bite. And what you're going to do with this is you're still going to take a length of rope and then you're just going to bend it over like that. Okay? And what that allows you to do is exactly the same but with the two pieces. And I'm going to show you that up close now. So we do the same as before. We make an alien's head. We go around the back and then we poke him in the eye. And as you can see there, we've got the figure of eight with the loop at the top. This last knot we're gonna do um, is actually one of the oldest knots out there. They've actually got pictures in paintings and sculptures of this at the early 16th century. And this knot is the clothes hitch. Now it's used by falconers, it's used by people to use lock move logs. We actually use it here to anchor our climber to the ground. So it's a really important knot for us. And I'm gonna show you how I was taught it. And then Luke's gonna show you a different way. So the way we do it, Got a broomstick, should all have one of those at home. Hopefully your parents are getting you to use it for the chores. Now, you're going to go round, you're going to cross over the other one, and then come round the back again. And you see this X here, you're then going to poke it through. Okay, and what that's going to do is as you pull it tight, it's a knot that works against itself. When it's pulled tight, it stays there, but it's easy to undo later on or adjust. But that's a really good way to tie it onto an object. If you want to clip it on something, you can make a loop with the end of the rope going down the front, make another loop with the other end going the opposite side, and then you slide Cross it over one in front of the other, and then when you put that on your object, you're done. Okay, so our motto here at Lambourne End is inspired to inspire. We hope that we've inspired you to try some of these knots. What they say is you practice that knot eight times, you should never forget it. Alright? So, good luck. We hope you achieve it and we look forward to seeing you all again soon. Oh, forgot my dressing gown. Dave? Dave? David! <laughs>